Rosa Bonaire broke molds for women during the 19th century, despite her artistic approach being quite conservative and traditional. As a result of her unwaning persistence to self-promote and gain success in her field of animal painting, she became one of the most famous female artists in the history of Western art. Like Vigie Le Brun, Bonaire was born to an artist father. He was her sole teacher, as her family was too poor to afford tuition to a private studio or academy. Bonaire's love for animals and technical skill eventually landed her in a role of Parisian stardom. The Horse Fair is said to be Rosa Bonaire's most important work of art. By the time this painting was displayed, Bonaire had been exhibiting in the salon for over a decade, so she was well established as an animal painter. The work was completed in 1853, the same year it debuted at the Salon. It took more than two years to complete. Perhaps that is due to its massive size, over 16 feet wide and 8 feet tall, and the fine detail. The painting broke records for size in animal painting, in addition to the fact that Bonaire was only 31 when it was completed. No other person, let alone a woman, had accomplished something of this nature before. Many viewers at the time of its completion remarked that the painting carries a certain masculinity. The work itself is a force of nature. Naturally, Bonaire could not have painted this without the proper research, experience, and sketching. The horse market shown in this painting is off-limits to women, but Bonaire got special permission from the police to wear men's clothing so she could frequent the market without becoming a spectacle. This was a radical move, considering the extremely polarized gender roles that were still rampant in French society. But she was dedicated to her career, endlessly so, and visited the horse market twice a week for over a year to draft the horse fair. Although she was not a subscribed feminist, her lifestyle and determination was an unforgettable contribution to women's rights. Bonaire lived her life on her own terms, vowing to never marry, and made herself a household name without the family prestige or the assistance of hefty state commissions initially. Her works collected several gold medals at the salon as well as international accolades. She was even the first female artist to receive the Grand Cross of the Legion of Honor under Napoleon III. By the time of her death in 1899, she was a wealthy and internationally famous woman. Thank you, Rosa Bonaire.